um, I went through a year in my life where a lot of things went wrong. I was really sick um, with an autoimmune disease. Um, my grandmother died in a freak accident. Multiple people in my family lost their jobs. Just it seemed like one thing after the other just kept happening that made me realize how much we take for granted and how huge a role chance plays in our day-to-day -day lives. And that we don't often realize that we're lucky when we're lucky, right? We, we don't wake up every morning say, ah, you know, great, you know, today I have my job and I'm healthy and everyone I know is alive, wonderful. Let's, let's say thank you and get on with the day. You don't really think that way. I mean, maybe now more of us think that way because right now we're in the middle of COVID, but back then that was not something that you would wake up um, thinking. And so I decided I wanted to write about that, but that's not a book. So you're, you're a writer too, and you know that books need stories and books need more than just a philosophical inquiry into the meaning of life, which is what, what I was kind of thinking about. Um, and so when I'm working on anything new, it can be short, it can be a book, it doesn't really matter. Um, my first step is always to read and to read as much as I possibly can. So I began to read everything I could find on chance and luck and all of these different elements and eventually I came to game theory and I learned that John von Neumann the father of game theory one of the authors of the theory of games and economic behavior was a poker player and game theory actually came out of poker von Neumann believed that poker was the game best suited to understand strategic behavior and to understand human decision making he was actually, I, I felt a bit of a kindred spirit in him in the sense that he, like me, did not like games. So he found games like chess boring um, because they were solvable. He said, you know, it's, it's a game of perfect information. And if you give me enough computing power, and of course, John von Neumann is the father of the computer as well. So he, he was able to eventually come up with something that would give him enough computing power. There's always a right move. There's always something that you can do and you can always solve it. So that's not life because in life you can't solve it. There's no solution because life is a game of incomplete information. There are unknowns, there are lots of variables, there's a lot of noise. And he also hated gambling. He hated casino games like roulette, games of chance because he also found them boring because there's no skill whatsoever. You know, it's just whatever the outcome is. And he thought that poker was actually perfectly situated in the middle. It was a game of skill, but with a chance element. And it was a game of incomplete information where there are knowns and unknowns. There's information I know, there's information you know, there's stuff we know in common. And our goal is to make the best decision possible given the information we have right now, knowing that that decision, it doesn't mean that it, we're going to get the outcome we want because it's uncertain and it's probabilistic and the world is probabilistic. And the, thing that I think really clinched my interest in learning more about this poker thing was that von Neumann was a mathematician. It doesn't get more numerical than his background. And yet the thing that interested him about poker is he said, you know, you can't actually solve it with pure math. And he had this wonderful quote, which I quoted in my book. And he said, real life consists of bluffing, of little tactics of deception of trying to figure out what does this man think I need to do? And that's what games are about in my theory. And I read that and I just thought, wow, this is fascinating. A mathematician who understands the importance of psychology and who understands that decision-making is the two combined. So I decided to read a little bit about poker and just something clicked. When I read it, I thought, wow, why don't I actually learn this game, find someone really good to teach me um, and spend a year immersed in this world and write about it, use it as a metaphor for life, the way that von Neumann had wanted to use it. Um, and nothing goes as expected. So it ended up being much more than a year. Um, and I ended up going pro. Um, and the biggest bluff was born. <laughs>